Hello, my name is Malban. I'm the creator of VIDA, Vectrex Integrated Development Environment, and I would like to show you the first starting steps how to get going in VIDA. VIDA, as I said, is a development environment, but today I won't talk about development. I would just like to show you how to start the damn thing and how to get emulation running and start a game and look at it. So, the first steps is starting video. Probably you've done that. Then you have a screen like shown here. Not much on it, or perhaps one or the other window is shown, doesn't matter. How to get going? You go to the menus, choose Tools, Starter. This is the first step. Then you will get a starter window. That window consists of two halves. The upper half is a table consisting of many games. And uh, the bottom half is actually for each game a uh, documentation, presentation, information, whatever. Today I would like to sort the table to only show original Vectrex programs. You can do that by enabling a filter, homebrew games, to off. So now only original games are shown. And uh, I'd like to start off with Clean Sweep. You see some information about Clean Sweep. It doesn't have any special hardware connected to it. It is a game from the original development team from Richard Oh my Moskowski. I hope I uh, pronounced that more or less right. Instructions can be found here. There are pictures of the front and of the back sometimes of American versions, sometimes of uh, European versions. Depends on what pictures I laid my hands on. Uh, some text and some more pictures, some Easter eggs, cheats, if I got any. Double clicking on the above entry in the table starts the emulator. I'll do that and clean speed pops up. The emulation window, you can uh, resize it as you like. It doesn't look always pretty, whatever you do to it, but uh, uh, the game commences. Uh, in the upper part, you can see uh, some information. This is an actual loaded cartridge. This is a second game port. This is a first game port. Usually, the first game port is always some sort of input. Uh, the only input available right now are keyboard input 1 and keyboard input 2 or 0 and 1 so no other input devices are available perhaps I will do them later uh, this little number which is changing all the time actually represents the current speed of the emulator current speed is 72 percent of actual backtrack speed which is quite slow my computer, although it's from uh, 2011, is a quite fast computer, so in all probability if you start up video it may be way slower. But you can enhance that. Again, Tools, Menu, Configuration. There are many options available as you see and I won't explain them now all, but uh, right on the first tab you have the options about uh, at the top uh, which uh, is a configuration setting the current setting is developers setting which is the slowest setting you can possibly imagine there all the development goodies are implemented like uh, uh, backwards buffer you can step forward backwards in emulation and so on which all takes emulation time. Pre-configured are four sets of options. You can configure your own set of options and save them. Just type in a name here, press save and it will pop up in here. You can uh, well try all the options here. You can always look at the help file and uh, hopefully the available options are explained there. Um, the default option the emulator starts with is called default if you ever change these default options and save them as default this will be your next start options 
uh, just switch to default and you see emulation uh, uh, speed has gone up to around 100% so with my computer this is more or less the preferred setting it may still be too slow uh, at your computer I will show you what you can do about that uh, right now uh, even a speed limit is implemented speed limit to 100% it's about 100% sometimes a percent less sometimes a percent more I can switch it off just to look it doesn't change much it's actually my top speed here um, well so the default options I'll get to back to that later I'll just uh, show you the other options available there's a performance option if your computer is way way too slow you can choose that it's there you see a difference the overlay is gone uh, the glow emulation is gone uh, persistency changed uh, the line width changed and so on if I switch off speed limit out, uh, on my uh, computer the emulation speed has gone up to well, well 160 percent about um, this is probably more or less the fastest you can get uh, you can change the window size this always helps Changing the window size, emulation speed goes up to 220%. So large window, slow emulation, small window, fast emulation. This is a uh, very easy to remember. Uh, I'll switch on speed limit again. The other options you have, uh, developers I told you about, default options I told you about, and then there's a digital options with clean sweep, especially you can see that uh, quite clearly. You may have seen this on older emulators like DVE had a screen like this, uh, the older MES versions looked like that, uh, Para Yatvari looked like that, VEGX looks like it. This is because uh, VEGTRAX consists of many analog parts and the analog parts are, uh, well, I don't want to say hard to emulate, but uh, it's difficult to find the right settings to emulate the analog hardware. And uh, I, well, spend a lot of time choosing the correct settings for the emulator. Uh, with Clean3 especially, it looks like it's bad emulation if it's digital, but many other games actually look alright and uh, can change to another game. Uh, I don't know. Let's take Star Trek, for example. Go back to Vexi. Star Trek, this is still digital emulation, but the game looks once it starts. Probably quite alright. Ready, Captain? Yes, I'm very ready now. Next sector. Okay. Ah, here you see, more or less looks okay ish. Um. Okay, I'll just show you some other emulations now and then just quit this little video because uh, this is what it was all about. Just to show you how to start up and to choose the right settings for your own emulation. I'll go back to performance switch so it looks really vectrex ish black and white and without any overlays. Uh, well, let's see, what can we do? Art Master, it's a light pen game. Right now, light pen is written in bright yellow letters on the screen. I probably will change it in the future sometimes, but um, this is just to show you that light pen is emulated right now. You can use the light pen as uh, the, the mouse as a light pen. Switching here, and here you can move the light pen and if I knew how to use sketch and paint, I could probably draw some neat pictures here. Ah, okay. Well, you get what I mean. Ah, there it does something. Nice. Okay, then uh, Spike. Spike. It's one of the only original games which uh, has digital speak enabled. So just start that. Well, it works, as you can see. And one can die too. Oh no, Molly! So, what else is there to show? Mr. Boston, ah, there's a Dryden Narrow Escape. 
Uh, let's just look what I've configured here. Emil Image No Auto Mode. Um, this speeds up the Imager emulation, so I'll just start that, and you will, and we will go to the game right away. Otherwise, the image emulation just uh, has to start. This, this looks a bit weird, but it's actual exact emulation. What you should wear are goggles. I don't have any, but this is what it would like through goggle if you played your on a real Vectex. Uh, what else is it? Uh, Spectrum, Solar Quest, uh, 3D Mindstorm. Well, it's the same. It's an Imager game again. You see, it's also working. No wonder. I don't know, what's the speed? 100%. Huh? That's nice. What settings have I chosen? Perform. Performance. Well, call it performance. Let's switch to default. On the other games, it looks a bit nicer. Ah, well, now you can shoot at the uh, oh, nearly said asteroids. It's not an asteroid clone. It's a uh, mindstorm, of course. Um, so, what else have you got? Web was Berserk. Well, why not? This is actually uh, emulation of Vec Voice that you might be listening to now. It's not a really original game, it's enhanced uh, by Alex Herbert. But otherwise, the original Berserk, uh, Berserk game. Oh. Let's just. Yes, yes, got you, humanoid, I know. Uh, what else is there? I think nothing special anymore here. So I'm just waiting till I'm dead. And I got the end screen of Berserk. And then I will end that video. Let's look how far can we go. Just play Vectrex. Uh, berserk to the end, and then I'll leave you alone. Actually, I'm not a very good Berserk gamer, as you might notice. Well, I probably won't get that one in the middle. Actually, I haven't got a Vec Voice original, so I don't know what the real thing uh, sounds like. I only got the... Oops! I'm probably dead. Ain't I? No, still not. Why is there only one of them left? Funny. Ten points. Oh well, sure, I will escape. Oh well, I'm probably going to die. And with this death, I will also finish this video. Thank you and goodbye.